One, two, three. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we had a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. And we're doing it! Woohoo! <laughs> We had high hopes of doing, you know, at least weekly updates documenting all of the little stages uh, and travel days in the loop. And we quickly realized that that and doing the loop and parenting and working, it wasn't all gonna work. So something had to give. So um, editing YouTube videos was what gave. Mm -hmm. So at, for, first of all, we want to thank everybody who reached out and said, where are you? Are you okay? What's going on? Are you alive? Are you alive? We are so grateful for everyone for checking in on us and feel so bad that we made anybody worry. We just um, had too much on our plates. We're so. 4,500 miles later and we are still alive. We're still alive and we're just now having time to do an update video. Although we filmed like four update videos that haven't had time to edit them or haven't had an internet connection to upload them. Plus we also realize we get we pull into a great city in Canada or wherever and the last thing you want to do is spend 10 hours editing. You want to go and see that city so we had to make a decision do we enjoy the trip now or do we get to it and maybe relive the trip later when we're editing. So we thought we'd actually make better videos revisiting yeah. and editing when we actually like wanted to and enjoyed the trip again rather than like oh we got to make a video. We're documenting everything so that oh, yeah, when, we're we filming. Do, when we do have time, <laughs> but right now we just we just don't have any extra time and the days are long and awesome and exhausting and yeah. Yeah, it's all when you're cruising, it's there's not a lot of um well you're teaching. I'm up there. There's some days where I don't even eat lunch cuz I'm just at the helm all the time. It's yeah. it's and, hands on deck. and truth be told, the first month or six weeks of our loop was really difficult for me. Yeah. It was it was difficult for you too, right? It's difficult for everybody. I equate it, and I think this is the best analogy, is um, it's like the first six weeks of having a newborn, your firstborn. It took us a long time to have kids. We worked and prayed and dreamed of having children for years before we actually had kids. We worked and dreamed and prayed of finding the boat. Yes. <laughs> but then once you have the baby, the first day, it's awesome, right? The day you get the boat. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then you're exhausted, you're worn out, you're terrified, you're rethinking all the life decisions you made getting up to this point. You're not sure you're ever going to be able to... You're on like the it. boat and you have a throw the lines date. Yeah, but and yet, so you're just, it's just overwhelming, but yet you have a healthy baby, so you're still grateful and you can't, you don't want to admit you're overwhelmed because other people have done this and not been overwhelmed and they, no one talks about that as they should. And, and so you've thrown the lines and now you're on the boat and you're cruising. Yeah. And you're living this dream, but you're questioning your, anyway, that was my first six That's weeks. That's your analogy. And I was covered in bruises. Why? I, had, I wasn't beating you up. <laughs> but like running around the boat, not knowing what, yeah, where, I, where I was going to get boat bites. I mean, my legs and my torso were literally covered in bruises. We weren't sleeping a lot. We were at, we were pushing really hard. We were up yep. at like five in the morning. We were throwing lines at first light. We were covering. A we were good doing multiple hundred mile days on the ICW back by ourselves, and we didn't meet a buddy boat until Delaware. Started here and went all the way up to here by ourselves, which a lot of loopers don't do. Yes, yeah, so we hadn't figured out the, the the trick to looping is to get some buddy boats who can help you plan, navigate, make reservations, think through everything. We were doing it all independently on top of parenting, teaching, um, and learning this big new boat. And yep. then this, we had a shakedown period. The boat, by the way, is incredible. We yes. love, love, love. She is incredible. Love, love, love the boat. Um, but she, we've had a break in period for us to figure out how to operate her and then just stuff and mm -hmm. upgrading and, and whatnot. So we saw somebody who, uh, were we, Illinois? And they go, oh, the boomer shines. And they go, we were worried about you. That's a big boat. So, because yes. um, the last we left it, we had moved it like over a three night period to, to a place and they were worried. I was worried about driving the boat. Your stress level has gone down for docking. Significantly. Yep, we just feel more capable overall. Well, the, kids are, the kids are handling lines. We've done 70 locks, 70, more uh -huh. than 70 and locks. And the big question whether or not we would make it under the lowest bridge, which is 19 feet, 6 inches. We literally didn't know if we would make it under until that 
Until we made it under. Holy. Holy. I'm shaking. We're about to make, don't do anything, Dad. Just keep going. Keep going, Dad. Keep going. We made it under. We're, we are in the river system now. It is a rainy, windy day, so we're sitting still and we have time to do this. We're 4,500 miles in. We have had some incidents. Oh, yeah. We've, we've blown incidents. three injectors, okay, two on one engine, one on the other. We blew a bow thruster. We shredded our bow thruster propeller mm -hmm. in the dismal swamp. Some people said, you're not taking that boat in the dismal swamp. We said, yeah, we are. It was awesome. So we did it and we it. just off the dock and it sucked a, a log or a twig through and voice. shredded it. So that was, so bow thruster, injectors. Toilet issues. We've had some toilets. I've been up to here and poop, but you know, have you realized about uh, boats? They have engineers, right? You've never, you well, never yeah, knew what I mean, an engineer I, was. I never quite thought like big yachts, they talk about the engineer. It's really... Uh, a nice name or a fancy name for someone who is a mechanic, an electrician, and a plumber all combined in one. That's him. Yep. Uh, which is very handy. And the kids are doing great. Mm -hmm. We still have both the cats on board despite <laughs> their best efforts to escape. And one time, the, one of the cats made herself at home on our neighboring boat. They've relinquished the fact that they're not getting off the boat, so now I think they're actually loving it. They got this big window behind us, and we got a cat tree, and they just watch the world go by and we've talk had, to seagulls. And... We've had some very comical misadventures with the cats, but they're still with us. Um, Canada was amazing. Canada really was. Great Lakes were amazing. Yeah. Thousand Islands were amazing. And now we're headed to Florida mm -hmm. and the Bahamas. But we've got a lot of rivers between us. and. The rivers are really low. Like it, the Mississippi was closed low. for a while. So we got delayed by the Mississippi being closed. Who knew they could close the Mississippi? We've learned so many well, things. Well, a barge like ran that. aground. A barge ran aground, yeah. which blocked the Mississippi. Uh, they also turned dams off in the middle of the night just for future loopers. Don't think just because the dam is running and there's a current when you go to sleep that there will be one at 3 a.m. We've had lots of those incidences that we learned things on the way. So we're going to share all those later on down the road when we have time to edit. And um, in the meantime, we might do quick updates like this if we get around to it. Or this was a we're still alive yeah. update. <laughs> and thank you for all of the concern. <laughs> um, and if you have questions, we get some of the same questions all the time. So maybe we should do some videos yep. answering specific questions. But if you have questions, put it in the comments below. One of which is where, where do we get our seashell apparel? Yes, that is, uh, I'll put a link anyway, mm -hmm. if you want. It'll be right here. <laughs> and it's been super fun. We, uh, in Canada especially, it was almost every day, if not every other day, that someone would see us on the dock or a VHF hail would go, sea shine, sea shine, and we'd think uh -oh. we'd done something I wrong thought, and we were like, spelling uh -oh. back. But what did we do wrong? And they go, hey, it's the boomer shiners or something like that. But um, yeah, they were just saying, we Say recognize hi. you, the boat, boat looks great. So it's amazing the power of this. Yes, thank you for everyone who has been so kind to us along the way and reached out and said hi and like, mm -hmm. you know, we've had people drop bottles of wine off in Michigan. Notes, little um, notes. Yes, multiple notes. It's yes, super fun. That's awesome. You guys are all very, very sweet and we are so grateful and also apologetic that we left you hanging. So I hope you can understand <laughs> and um, laugh with us, not at it. Well, you're gonna laugh at us too, but. Yeah, laugh at us. Yes. We laugh at ourselves. Um, but yeah, that's that's the update. We're, we're on the river systems, heading And we need to do a boat update because I'm almost done with all of the things. So we've done some interior the boat, stuff. Yes, the boat is awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll do a full, we need to do an after because we did the before tour. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Okay. Anything well, else? There you go. Send us some comments on like things you want to know. Yeah, we'll do a quick little, little update. We can update or answer your comments right there. Yeah, like questions. Um, and if you wouldn't mind, pick up two pieces of trash every day. That'd be awesome. And Canada, sweet Canada, there is not a lot of trash up there. It was hard for me to find my two pieces every day. So well done. Well, I'd say on the whole, the whole loop, there's been very little trash in the water. It's the trash on the roads and in the land. And so I, boaters. Fingers crossed we actually get this edited and posted. So until then, until we see you again, shine, shine on. Shine on.
Oh, and this hat started black. So that can give you a, an idea of the weather and some of the conditions we have been in.